Australia is taking strong measures to address the rising popularity of disposable vapes, especially among the youth. Health Minister Mark Butler announced a ban on disposable vapes starting January, marking the first step in a broader crackdown on these nicotine-filled devices. But that's not all. In March, the ban will expand to cover all non-therapeutic vapes, including refillable devices. Importers of medical purpose vapes will require a permit from the Office of Drug Control. To enforce these new rules, there will be an additional 75 million Australian dollars in funding for the Australian Border Force and the Therapeutic Goods Administration. Australia, despite having one of the lowest smoking rates in the OECD, is witnessing a rapid rise in vaping, particularly among young people. Government data reveals that around one in five individuals aged 18 to 24 are now using vapes. These reforms, initiated in response to research indicating potential long-term harm, also ensure that access for smokers looking to quit is not hindered. Starting January, doctors and nurses will have expanded powers to prescribe therapeutic vapes where clinically appropriate. However, therapeutic vapes will face restrictions on flavors, nicotine levels, and will be sold in pharmaceutical packaging under new rules next year, allowing a transition period for manufacturers to comply. Australia is taking a bold stand to protect public health, aiming to strike a balance between addressing the risks associated with vaping while supporting those seeking alternatives to traditional smoking.